welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X2 HD 100% Walkthrough. Last episode, we went to the Meehan High Roads and listened to Yuna's story. This episode is going to be quite the long one. We're actually going to be going into the Mushroom Rock Roads, and we have quite a bit to do. Mushroom Rock Fiends heading for Youth League Headquarters. They are busy planning some kind of operation, and the fiends are multiplying like crazy. Oh, I totally meant to hit X. Let's go! We really have a lot to do, guys, so pay attention because we got to do this in a straight order or we will not reach our 100%. Alright, so we're going to start out first by going forward. Ah! It's those creeps again! Maybe there's a sphere here. It's our turn to do the following. Alright, so we're going to go up here and we're going to talk to these um, men that are standing here. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. You haven't forgotten me, have you? You're Yibel of the Youth League. Yibel, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! You really do remember me! I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. Since that day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a sphere hunt of its own. We, the Youth League! Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search <clears throat> for ruins and spheres. Oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Sure, we're game. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. All right, so we're going to jump through here and let's talk to Clasco before we go uh -huh. on. You seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. All right, then after you, know, you speak with him, want... we're going to go forward and follow Riku Payne and those creeps. Now, all we're going to do here is we're going to ride the lift that's up here and walk through this whole area. Mission time. The Youth League is a bit short-handed. Help them out by clearing out the fiends along Mushroom Rock Road. Fiend will attack more often cover of fog. Proceed with caution. Reach the lift to the headquarters. So we're going to do exactly that. I'm actually just going to speed up this part of the episode because, like I said, this is going to be a long one. So you just need to go up the lift and then go all the way to the end to the next lift. Now there's a lot of battles, so make sure you're prepared. And what does happen is at night, if you don't want to battle a lot of fiends, then you just kind of stand still and wait for the day to start or the fog to disperse.
so here we have we've made it to the other side of the mushroom rock roads and we're gonna just go up this lift here And then walking over here will trigger a cutscene. Oh, wow. Lady Yuna. It's me, Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. How are you? Never better. Now that I'm in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. Go on, step aside. Right, right away, away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Alright, mission complete! So now that we have reached a mission complete and we got the Heart of Flame Garment Grid, we actually need to run all the way back. We're not going to go up that lift just yet. It's a treasure chest over here, I know it. But we're not going to go up the lift just yet. We need to go all the way back. Got to see what this does. Because Clasco is going to be waiting for us back at the entrance and we need to talk to him. So I'll see you guys all the way back there. Alright, so we've made it back to the other side of the lift. We're just going to head down and then we're going to run back to where our save sphere was at when we first came to the Mushroom Rock Roads. Oh my gosh, there's still a battle here? That's intense. So, I don't know if you guys had just skipped over the, the whole battle deal. Um, oh man. But um, I have been using two warriors and a black mage. Uh, mostly because you get... For some reason, when you're battling these elementalists, you get a lot of AP from them, which are the ability points that you get to learn moves from. So that's really nice, uh, especially. So that's what I've been doing. Now I'm just going to kind of set everybody's abilities real quick because she can learn an MP absorb, which is really good for a black mage, so you don't ever really run out of... MP, because obviously that's all the black mage uses. So that's really nice. Alright, so like I said, we're going to go back up to the save sphere and we'll see class go. He'll be over on the edge. He's going to try to jump. No, I'm just kidding. He actually just needs your help. That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. But I can't keep doing this forever. I know that there's a place for everyone in this world, even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please, allow me to ride on your airship. So you do want to say the more the merrier. You want him to join you on the airship. Oh, thank you so much. I'll find my true calling. You'll see. Alright, so now that we're done with this side, we're actually going to run all the way back through to the back to the other side where Elma was, and we're going to ride that big lift up to the Youth League. So I'll see you guys back on the other side. Alright, so we're back up the lift here. Um, once we're up the lift, we're going to just pass up Elma and go up that big lift that they had wanted us to go up before. So we'll run up here and you should see a little green square on your map. That's where we're headed. Excuse us, pardon us. All right, now let's run down here.
Darn, loading screens. This is Youth League headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge. Apparently he earned quite a reputation among the crusaders. All right, so our first thing, we're just gonna jump down to the right here. Oh, maybe. And there's gonna be an item that we can obtain. Restless sleep garment grid. You can cast, I believe you can cast sleep on your enemies. Okay, Yuna. All right, and then over here, there's a save sphere. So if you feel, feel free to save or touch it or whatever you wanna do with it. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to run straight through. And we're going to talk to that woman there standing at the entrance. And we're going to talk to her twice. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the Youth League forces. It's good to see you. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry. I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. Alright, so that was our first time. We're gonna talk to her one more time. There sure do seem to be a lot of weirdos around here. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have, uh, questionable pasts. Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. No, few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new sphere out. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. Alright, so that's all we had to talk to her just two times. Then she'll I'm say I'm sorry. very sorry because we can't go in. So next, there's this old guy right here. We need to speak with him. When we speak with him, you do not touch anything. You listen until all the way to the end, no matter how many pop-ups pop two up. Years. This calls for a celebration. Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. By all means, this is the first pop-up we have to hit, of course, but do by all means. He's passed. Now we're not gonna hit and anything and we're just gonna let Mike in talk. If it says please go on or enough enough, just don't press anything and let him talk. And then when he's done, he'll want to shake your hand and we'll want to do that. It is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. <sighs> The Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the Sphere Hunters, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
To be sure. The majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of the search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira, or so one would have thought. But then, just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, save Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its spheres, yet surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge. The Maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuge was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuge gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, the League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuge, but he is busy in meetings, and I was turned away at the door. <sighs> Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel spear, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. Just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand, if it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. And you're gonna say, of course, because you want to shake his hand. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. All right, so now that we're done talking with my gun, we are actually going to go back here and we're going to run back through the Mushroom Rock Roads. We have quite a bit to do, I told you guys. I'm just going to touch this and I'm actually just going to save this part. Nothing you can really mess up on, but it doesn't hurt to save.
All right, because now what we have to do is we need to go to the Den of Woe. So we're going to run back down and go down the lift. Now, the Den of Woe is where we saw at the very beginning where armies and logos jump down. That's where we're headed. So come down this lift, and then we'll go down the secondary lift so we can encounter them. So I'm not going to skip this part of walking through the road just so you guys can see how to get there. But I am going to speed through it and put some music on it. So I'll see you guys at the Den of Woe. Or the entrance, at least. So here we are. This is the kind of the entrance of the Den of Woe area. So we're actually just going to hold circle and jump down here. There's some treasure chests that you can obtain. Um, and quite a bit of battles, of course, that we've already been going through. That we're going to continue to go through as we go throughout this game. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be triggering a cutscene down here. And so make sure to... There's no more battles besides just these fiend battles, so just don't worry about that too much. And then there's, like I said, there's quite a bit of treasure that we can get, like a high potion and some other things. So we'll just run through here. Now the easiest way to do this is to use your overhead map. Just because, look at me, I'm already failing to walk through it. Now the two little first little left crevices you can go to are not going to have any items. So don't worry about going through there. They're just tricks so that you battle more monsters. We don't want more monsters. We want less monsters. Now later on you actually can get equipment that sorry, that can either increase or decrease the amount of enemies that you run into. Ugh. All right, here's one of the treasure chests we can get with the phoenix down. Like I said, it's easiest to use your overhead map because when you're running around looking at Yuna, it's not so nice. Now, by now, you should be pretty... If you went through the mean high roads and, you know, leveled up and grinded your characters a little bit, um, it shouldn't be too hard to start going through here. Especially with a black mage, that's going to be your best bet because if you have all warriors or a thief, a gunner, and you got to have a black mage is what I'm trying to say here. That's going to be your best bet. Now this left other left crevice is not going to have anything in it so you can just run straight through. And then there's a treasure chest right there in front of us so we can nab that. These are the worst though, these elements because they make your attack moves go real slow. Because they get to attack first. 
Now you can, I don't know if you guys have checked those options yet, but you can cut the seams when you change your dress spears. You can also make either, either an active battle mode or a weighted battle mode. Um, I believe the weight battle mode is, so if you stop playing, you let your bar go up all the way, after everybody's turn is done, everybody will stop until you start again. So that's the way. No, now the active mode, you could sit here and those guys will still keep attacking and attacking and attacking. No matter what you do. So right now we're in active mode, as you can tell. The only time it will switch to wait is if you're switching your dress spheres. So. Alright, so let's nab this. Scored a high potion. And we're almost there, guys. I promise. I know. This has been quite the episode. And we're not done after the Mushroom Rock Roads. We have to do something, one more thing, on the airship. Before we get to Alright, so after you touch the save sphere... You can even make a new save if you feel like you need to. I'm gonna make a crap ton of saves because I'm tired of dying. Death is the enemy. And we're gonna run through this little hole here and trigger a cutscene. This one ain't no good! Nor this one. What are you doing? <gasps> Let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. Hey, they dropped something. Finders keepers. All right, we got Crimson Sphere 9. All right, so after we get that sphere, we're actually going to run back and there's a mysterious character. Hey, long time no see. Remember me? Of course I do. It's Marota. Glad to hear it. How have you been? I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a sphere hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a sphere hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergardians. Be nice to him if you see him. How's Isaru? The Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? But... Uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... I'm afraid this place is off-limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Alright, so after talking to Marota... This place is all- You can actually touch this and it'll place the crimson sphere inside that you just obtained. Isaru, he hasn't changed a bit. This place- Alright, so after we're done with that, we're actually gonna just jump back to this save sphere. And we're going to get back on the airship Celsius. I swear guys, we're almost done here. So board that airship. After we board the airship, we're going to jump over to Shinra and watch the sphere that we just obtained. And that would be the Crimson Report number one. What a 
Let's see. Total survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Exercise zero. Zilch and Zipball. Job done. Uh, you pinhead. Did you even count? All right, so when we're done viewing that, we actually have the last thing to do, and we need to go find Clasco in the upper level of the cabin and speak with him. I know, this was quite the episode, guys, running back and forth the Mushroom Rock Roads. Choco0409 keeps interrupting us. And now we have to go speak with Clasco. It was quite the episode, I say. But we want to get that perfect ending, so I guess we're just going to have to do it. Now, this episode should leave us at a 13% when we're all done. We got about 4.6% from doing it. So, I'd say it was, it'd was it be worth it, or it was worth it. So, jump up here. Well, climb the stairs anyway. And talk to this poor guy right here. Oh. 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 Why won't the room stop shaking? Oh. Alright, so after talking to him, we'll jump back down and it looks like we're gone done. We're gone done, guys. We are gonna go jump on that save stair, save our game on a new slot. And we'll be good. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see y'all next episode.